Hi all, welcome to my hobby room, welcome to John's Bottle Making. Today we have Mitsubishi 86M0 from Agora, Packs 1. So if I know this is packed, this is the propeller. Um, and we have the other packs here, all nicely packaged, looking absolutely splendid. There we go. So this, this is a new build for me one that I've been eagerly awaiting to do for the past few months um, the Spitfire is coming along brilliantly and I just thought this would accompany it fantastically um, so I hope you're going to enjoy this build and, and uh, join me whenever you can watching the progress of this build uh, it does look absolutely awesome and I do believe it is very detailed which is fantastic because we all love a challenge anyway enough of that said let's get on with the build Okay, so let's get them out of the box. Oh, that came off nicely. Oops, I'm so did all them. Not them all there. We have one little screwdriver. That is metal. So it should be one propeller, two, three propellers. That is metal as well, very heavy. Plastic, 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 plastic screws. And these three are for lining up the propellers. So as we get the, uh, oops, is it drops a piece. And there we have the final piece. Now I'd love to tell you what individually these components are, but uh, other than the propellers, um, we have that central cog. Um, they don't give any names in the instructions so we just have to go along with it as it is they just mentioned it was die cast or ABS resin anyway first thing we need to do is take 00104 and this piece and basically that goes in there somehow through uh, clips into place there like so and we need to glue that in place on these three pegs here it is obviously evenly spaced out because of the propellers so first of all we need to do is glue it I need to give that a minute or two okay so what we need now is this little cog the teeth there that go in the middle here now that, that is set and we need to position the propellers now we do get these little blocks that uh, make, ensure that you get the correct angle for the propellers I'll put the propellers into position first and then the block will turn it correctly it's flat area like that and the third and last one there we go that should ensure they will position correctly that one's not going down that one has now there we go just make sure that they're in place there we go and then we need this piece to ensure they all stay where they should do like that excellent and we need to secure that with double or one 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 i've got some screws here they put all the screws in the same bag <clears throat> they always give you a spare so we're looking for one of these that screw is a little bit too small I think and that should keep that in place like that excellent now what we need to do is to position this part 
on top of the propellers with that upwards as you can see there's three location points there and I think this is another part where we will have to glue and pop it back in place like so good press down that's one thing can't push that down any further hopefully that's fine there like that then what we need is this cap which goes on the top just try this out first yeah that goes fine there corn on top and then we just need to secure the corn so we don't need these blocks anymore eh? three screws one two three we don't need that one and they did give us four of these ones still in the bag right there should pitch there we go so that is all working perfectly inside pop this on the close up there we go you can see the markings that looks brilliant there we go so that's working fine that is stage one complete no gaps there excellent that was really lovely quite heavy that as well we don't ever need them blocks again so we can just discard them and we can now move on to stage two okay so now we've got stage two those are the parts in the box pop the propeller to one side let's get them into the box Oops, is it shifting everything around there we go that's lovely jubbly oh, interesting this piece like that looks absolutely gorgeous look at the detail on that there we go it's focused in brilliant there we go again absolutely gorgeous that that is plastic this feels like metal yep it is then we've got some smaller parts here and another container of each so we don't need them for now but we do need these parts then we basically got to pair these up with super glue so we get M3 out and these are all metal and basically we've got to fit that to that snap them together like so but we need to glue them okay so what we need to do is make up three these pieces and basically glue them all together um, so let's do that we do need are these parts out of here now these are different Let's get some. they are in pairs 
and basically what we need to do is have this this way up let's try the other camera this way up and we fit these in here like so and oops where's the other go drops it butter fingers like so that is where they should face It's always great putting um, detail onto uh, onto your bills like this. You feel as though you're really achieving something. There we go. That's them three completed. So the protrusions face outwards and they're all exactly the same. Brilliant. So basically <coughs> these, now they go in here a particular way. Now, fit the three assemblies made in step one to the crankcase part double or two or three by aligning the projections with the holes marked D and pushing the pieces together. Do not glue. So D, which is that one, it says do not glue. So we just pop them into place. D D D D D D. That's them three. Yep. That's it. But that's stage complete. So we have this piece, this, and that. And obviously we know they're loose, so we're gonna have to store them correctly. So we don't lose any more. That is stage two complete brilliant okay so stage three put it on the right camera there we go we have a couple more of the same two these details and some more caroling i think this is the engine cover so let's get these out Lovely jubbly. this again look at the detail on that that is absolutely gorgeous Brilliant. Put one of that one. Let's move these out of the way. I need, I need that piece and that piece. There's plastic. So, again, what we need to do is to make these two up and then add the detail. to uh, set okay so now we can add the detail only two this time round which is fine That's the last bit of detail on. They look fantastic. Now these go into position C, which is there. These are all going to fall apart until we can get them properly secured in place. 
how that one goes there as well so we are missing a couple but once we get to the later stage there we go that's how that should look better on the closer go there we go now what we need to do get rid of that is we need this piece and this and we need to secure it in place with super glue to the two pins and I get the orientation right now it should go that way like so now it's gonna snap in place that it's a tight fit um, so I'm going to put some super glue on it first. One always larger. Well, one location peg is bigger than the other. Was well, a tight fit that. It snaps into place now, so that's good. You can see it fits into these grooves here, underneath. There we go. Brilliant. So that's that part done. And now all we need to do is put these together. There we go. Held together by magnets. Lovely job, boy. That looks brilliant. That is stage three complete. We don't do anything with this at this time. Okay, dokie. So let's move on to stage four. Okay, so now we've got stage four. We have more engine parts. A couple more of these to uh, put together, and then we can put the rest together as well. So pop the cowling to one side and that and that and we'll get the parts excellent all coming apart nicely the job now, that is metal nice and heavy the screws out these little parts out stay in there because I don't think we're going to fit that in this one what we do need are these parts so we can complete this part of the engine and again just need to glue these together Details. That's all falling out. Again, we've got to make sure. That's one pair. That's another pair. Can go any of them. It's another C. I need to. glue on here okay. there we go that's that one now slide this over there pop that in there make sure all the others are in place come on you naughty boys this is the awkward bit keeping that steady like that now we need this piece it doesn't specifically say any particular way 
let's see C and D well Capture them all in place. Now, what we need are the screws. We have only three screws, so we only need two. I'm just making sure I did it exactly as the instructions showed. Obviously. That is stage complete. Fits to go in place for two where this is a temporary fastening so don't over tighten it. I don't think I over tightened it then. No, no definitely not. Oh well, a little bit loose anyway there. You can see the gap there. But anyway, that is that stage complete. Like I said we don't use that or that. So now we can move on to stage five. Okay, so now we have stage five. We've got a lot more detail and a couple of more of these to complete that go on here. So let's open up the bag. There we go. So we've got all these detail on the sprue, which we'll add to that a little more details and a couple more of these again it's just simply super glue the detail and these together that's them two together and we just need the detail to put on them. That one and we have that one in place as well. Okay, excellent stuff. Right. So basically these will go on here. Uh, fit the two assemblies, step one into the holes marked A. Now, we don't glue these. Just showing us where they go. Uh, it's gonna go that way this time. Upside down here like so there we go that is that part we can look close up there we go similar to them there we go now what we need Ooh. well we have to turn these over and fit these in here Do, 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 do. Yes, so I'm not going to bore you to death. I'll speed this up.
Excellent. That is stage complete. So there we go. That's everything. Stage is one to five. There's a spare piece of detail which we don't need. That'll be used at a later time. Those are all the parts that were received, and you've seen all the detail on that. These are still loose, as it said not to. I've got to make sure that they're straight. Excellent. That looks brilliant. That. Well, I hope you like that. I certainly did. Um, love this cowling. Look how big that is. It's fantastic. <laughs> together with magnets as well brilliant it's lovely stuff it's a lovely paint job as well uh, i got this put put that right there we go here we go i don't see any flaws on that whatsoever which is great two white markings there as well that's lovely jewelry and the propeller Look at that. Brilliant. This plane's going to be brilliant. As long as it equals uh, the Spitfire in terms of quality and uh, performance, then I'm going to be well happy. Well, I hope you enjoyed that anyway. If you did, give us a big thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and thank you for watching. Um, pack 2 will be next month. Um, towards the end of next month I would imagine um, but uh, I'm really looking forward to it now I can't wait for it to uh, turn up and then we can get all this put together the engine look at it look at the superb detail beautiful anyway I'm prattling on again thanks for watching stay safe see you soon Bye. <laughs>